Okay, so I promise a, a battle tonight. I'm doing it. Full moon was last night, yeah. So, so how does it look? Look pretty good? They're both at 1080p, 60. Uh, no stabilization on. Oh, cut down some trees. Looks like someone hit the rick you know, the brick wall around this tree. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna turn that down. And I'm gonna do it this one. I'm turn it down. No, I can't do that either. Won't well, let me. That's all right. They're both looking good. I, mean, I got the right spot for both of them. So the ZB-10 is on the, uh, what I call the uh, driver's hub, right in front of the uh, steering wheel. So it's circular, it's on top. Now, the reason why I'm doing that 1080p 60 is uh, just an experiment to see how it would look, let's say, on the cell phone or even at speed, watching it on a 4K uh, TV. I'm going to record it at uh, 1080p 60 just to see how it goes. Because uh, I was on Chrome and they were kind of knocking me down to, uh, you know, 1080p, which kind of upset me. But then when I used Safari, I had no problem at 4K30. So I think it's YouTube. I don't know if it's uh, my internet service provider. I think it's YouTube, all right? So this is program priority. I'm gonna wait for this car to go by. I hope they get done with this uh, shortly, this road work. All right. So, I don't think there's time uh, limits on the R7 or on the ZB-10, okay? Uh, if there is, I'll find out real short, you know, after 30 minutes. But uh, I plan to do two tests. I already did the aperture test and the uh, automatic on the cameras, you know, intelligent auto and the automatic on the camera. So now it's program priority. All right. I'm going to take a look at that. I could do an FE on the um, R7 when I put the manual mode on the uh, ZBE10. So the colors pop a lot more than on the R7. Um, say that much. Uh, on the uh, ZBE 10, outstanding color saturation, but I do have it on neutral, kind of like color. I think I have it on neutral also on the Sony, but Sony has a little bit more punch to it.
feeling pretty good in here. I'm also looking to see if uh, the R7 overheats. Uh, the 14 minute drive home had no problem. Okay. Uh, but it does get hotter and it is getting warmer every day. So the longer ones are in the morning when I stop off to get a coffee or something. So, anyhow. So leave it at 60. Yeah, it's 55. Got my coffee. Nice and warm. Ah, oh, man, that hit the spot. So, some people do landscape, some people do stargazing, a lot of people drive around wherever they get from point A to point B. I test out cameras inside of a car at all different times of the day. Looking at sharpness, clarity, how the cameras uh, perform at nighttime, see how much noise they have. That's the other reason why I'm doing it at 1080p. I might just switch it to 4K, you know, on the second half. So I'm looking on. Uh, As program priority, the uh, Sony should fix it all by itself. I know that it has intelligent auto, but uh, you know, you come to a light or something, then it stays. So they're both at 2.8. I think it can go to a 2.5, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure at all. Yeah, that's EVF. Yeah, the R7, a lot of people don't like the the different dials. So on the Sony, okay, it's more of a yellow on the white, and on the Canon, it's uh, more of a white white. That's all there I can say. But Canon uh, looks at purple and they think it's blue. I mean, they look at blue and they think it's purple. So, anyhow. So this is 1080p 60. Stabilization is off on both cameras. I'll try to make the ride as smooth as possible. So I got the lavalier, I found that. I found my uh, other CF Express uh, drive. So I had it hidden in my camera bag in the flap to protect it. <laughs> That's why I couldn't find it. I was searching everywhere. And then on the lavalier, 
It was in the uh, Nikon um, bag, but I was looking in the wrong pocket. So I fished that out. Uh, it looks good. So I'm going to do something a little bit different that no one expects. And I think you're going to like it. Just show you a different part of the city. Instead of going on the overpass, I'm going to go under the overpass. Yeah, they're about the same time. They're both at the same time. How about that? So I turn I turn on recording at the same time. That's the way you should do it. So the voice should be in sync. Everything should be good. I'm just going 60 miles an hour. Instead of going on the overpass, I'm going underneath it. Usually people don't take this anymore since they've completed it. I should have gone to 281 on the overpass, but no. I'm going to go this way. Underneath it. So this is the old way of going to 281. I'm going to try to go to Evans Road. I just don't know where it is. Try a creek. Mud Creek. Redland Road.
look at my navigation to see if there's any streets I can recognize. Yep, there is Evans Road coming up. Yep. That's where I wanted to go. So I could have took the highway. Evans Road. And you've been here before. You were here the other day. I thought it was a pretty sight. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park here. Thank you, Ken. Here we go. Same place. What do you think of those? So I'm going to end it here, put it at 4K30. Let's see there.